In 2014, ISRO launched the Mangalyaan satellite that was to orbit Mars for scientific analysis. This mission costed ISRO about 74 million US dollars. The Hollywood movie Gravity was produced with a budget of 100 million US dollars. Moreover, a similar mission launched by NASA called the Maven costed about 671 million US dollars. Not only was the Mangalyaan mission about 9 times cheaper than Maven, but it also made ISRO the only space agency in the world to succeed at a Mars orbiter mission in the very first attempt. This achievement had changed ISRO's image and it showed the world the capability of the team of scientists working at ISRO. This is the story of ISRO. Against the backdrop of the Cold War, where the space race between US and the Soviet Union began, the Soviet Union put into orbit the world's very first artificial satellite, Sputnik 1. This move widened the horizon for many. One amongst them was the Indian scientist Dr. Vikram Sarabhai. In 1962, Vikram Sarabhai urged the then Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru to start India's space program. In a young and newly independent India that was just about to enter into a war with China, the Indian National Committee for Space Research or INCOSPAR was established under the Department of Atomic Energy due to the lack of a designated ministry for space. Dr. Sarabhai worked on making India's first rocket in a small church located in the small village of Thumba off the coast of the Arabian Sea. Sarabhai along with his team that consisted of bright and energetic scientists which included Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam built an Arcas rocket and then famously transported it to the launch site on a cycle. The rocket was successfully launched but it didn't garner the required attention due to the assassination of US President Kennedy. on the very next day that however didn't demotivate our scientists but rather push their imagination further under prime minister indira gandhi incos power was replaced with isro the indian space research organization the department of space was set up to look after the indian space program isro was then brought under the department of space in 1975 isro launched their first artificial satellite called aryabhatta which was built by ISRO and launched by USSR's Intercosmos program on a Soviet rocket. ISRO then began working on developing rockets that could put satellites into orbit. In 1980, after many failures, ISRO had launched their very first successful satellite launch vehicle or SLV. This achievement had turned ISRO from an underdog to a self-sufficient organization that could not only build but also launch their own satellites. In 1980, They launched Rohini 1 using the SLV which made India the 7th country in the world to send a satellite into earth's orbit. ISRO continued to develop many such satellite launch vehicles such as the PSLV and the GSLV. The 1990s however marked a change as ISRO decided to take their game to the next level. In 1992 India signed a deal with Russia for a transfer of cryogenic engine technology. This was at a time when very few countries had the cryogenic rocket engine. The US prevented Russia from this technology transfer. In order to obtain a cryogenic engine, India signed a new agreement with Russia to fabricate cryogenic engines. But this move was also prevented by US, which imposed sanctions on ISRO. Scientist Nambi Narayanan, who was the director of the cryogenic project at ISRO, was arrested under a fake case of sharing confidential documents to foreign countries. This attempt at foiling the cryogenic engine project costed ISRO a lot of time and delayed important projects. Do comment below if you would like to see a video on this event. Moreover, in 1999 during the Kargil war, when India needed access to the global positioning system or GPS satellites, US prevented the access to India as it was allies with Pakistan at that time. In response, ISRO began working on their own satellite navigation system called IRNSS which is popularly known as Navic. Navic provides services to normal consumers like us as well as to the Indian military forces. In 2003 under the leadership of Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee ISRO planned projects such as the moon mission known as Chandrayaan and missions to other planets. In 2008 the Chandrayaan 1 mission was successfully launched and it was the first mission to detect the presence of water on the moon. In 2013 ISRO launched the famous Mangalyaan probe to Mars 
which reached the Mars orbit in September of 2014. This made ISRO the first organization to successfully send a probe to the Martian orbit. This mission was not only famous due to its success, but it was also cheaper than missions sent by other countries' space organizations. In 2013, when New York Times made fun of ISRO in India through a comic, ISRO proved the world wrong in 2014. This mission showed the power of the Indian space program to the world. We have had a look at the past of ISRO, but now let's have a look at their future. ISRO has many missions lined up for the next few years. Gaganyaan will be ISRO's crewed mission that will send astronauts to space. With the partial success and partial failure of Chandrayaan 2, ISRO has planned Chandrayaan 3 to send a rover to the moon. ISRO has also planned a Shukrayaan mission which is a Venus orbiter mission. Mangalyaan 2 is also planned to send an orbiter to Mars along with potentially sending a rover. These are just few of ISRO's planned missions for the next 5 years. ISRO has had a long journey from carrying rockets on a bicycle to sending a Mars orbiter in their very first attempt. ISRO has also seen various failures just like NASA and other space organizations. But ISRO has always moved past the failures and continued to push the Indian space program further. India and all Indians have massive respect for the hard work and dedication that ISRO puts in every day. That was it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching and got to learn something new. Do share this video so everyone can know the story of ISRO. Like this video and do subscribe to stay informed.